If you're looking to make the most tender, flavor-packed pork belly, then stick around. We're taking this slab of meat on a seven-hour adventure, and we won't be the same when we return. Welcome back, it's Mike C from HLM BBQ. Now there's at least 27 ways to cook a pork belly, but this is our favorite way by far. And we're starting with a mixture of sage, rosemary, and herbs de Provence. We found this mixture reminds us most of the holidays and you really could just do this with herbs de Provence, which is the dream team of herbs. Just Google it and you'll see what I'm talking about. Next, you can screenshot this ingredient list of our Razzle Dazzle seasoning, which contains all the flavors of the holidays or just buy a bottle and it should be fine for most of the people at the table. It's gluten-free, soy-free, MSG-free, and it's sucker-free. About three tablespoons in the bowl and add about a quarter cup of olive oil to make a paste. We want it to look something like this. And that's it. This is the magical mixture that will make the herbal crust on the pork belly. Now you can use this herbal crust mixture on a standing rib roast, on chicken, or on roasted potatoes. It's amazing. I wish they made a candle that smelled like this. I also wish they made candles that you could eat. Now get a two pound slab of pork belly or divvy up a big one into three slabs and remove all that silver skin. We are grown ups here and we like flavor and the silver skin is just there to block all the flavor and to make all your crust fall off. So remove it. You don't need it on there and you want maximum flavor. Now that you've removed the silver skin and any weird parts of meat that you don't want to eat, the next step is easy. Spread this herbal mixture, do half on the bottom, half on the top, and just get it in all those crevices. It should stick on there nice and thick, and it's going to already smell amazing. Just It smells exactly like the holidays. You can't eat it yet. Now, we want to smoke this where we have the fat render. We want airflow, and we're lazy. Put it on a grilling grate and put it over a tray covered in foil. That way your barbecue doesn't burst into flames from all the drippings. And then you can just throw away the foil when you're done without any cleanup. Now use whatever smoker you want. We're using a pellet smoker. Again, the lazy factor kicked in. Uh, offset would be fine. A barrel smoker would be great as well. Now this thing's gonna smoke for about seven hours and you could probe it. You're gonna bring it up to about 203 degrees Fahrenheit. I asked my buddy Spencer who does this and he said he smokes it till it's jiggly. Well, I'm a little jiggly right now. so I poked my belly and then I poked the pork belly and it jiggled about the same so I figured that it's probably done and I should probably be done eating so much pork belly but I'm not gonna stop now I was in complete disbelief with how tender this turned out it was smoking it like a tiny little brisket it was ridiculously probe tender it's like sticking a probe into butter which I think is more important than getting an internal temp correct because each meat can cook a little bit differently now if you look at it we're gonna twist this over to the side and cut it lengthwise because it's it's essentially like cutting bacon. The big difference being we didn't cure it, but we smoked it till all the fat rendered and the meat tenderized and we've got this thick bark on it. It's like a holiday roast and just take a look at how juicy this thing turned out. I could not be happier with how this turned out and the bark, just look at this thing, it's popping. It was definitely worth the seven hour wait and we're gonna dive into it right now. Here's a side profile. I don't know if the camera's picking this up, but this is, it's nuts. There's a, a ridiculously good bark on it. I mean, the crust on it is, ooh, you can hear it. Uh, let's eat it. Kind of nervous. It's my first time. No? All right, I won't be nervous. I'm just gonna dive in. I won't be nervous. Dude, you can do the tasting part. It's so good. Here, come here. The suspense is killing us. How is it? It tastes like candy. Like candy? Because it has that like out crust and I like the crust. You like the crust? Mm -hmm. Does this taste like a Christmas snack to you? You want some more? Here, grab it. Let's break it apart. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, would you eat this again? When it's once time, make yeah. sure to give, give that to me, okay? Okay, you got it. <laughs> Thanks, bud. Yeah! <laughs> this is such a big win. This pork belly, that's the best pork belly I've ever made. When it just comes to cooking a pork belly, this is absolutely the way I'm going to do it. It tastes like the holidays. It feels like it's Christmas time. I wanna be next to the fire, like a hot drink. Some of this with maybe some mashed potatoes. Maybe Dale wants to try a little tiny bite. Okay. 
You guys gotta try this holiday style pork belly. Just, it's smoky. It's got all the herbs going on. The razzle dazzle is blowing it up with flavor. Please try this and when you do, tell us how it turns out. Everyone, happy holidays to you. From our family to yours at HLM BBQ, we're gonna be back here in one week as long as everything goes to plan. So thanks again for showing up. We'll see you guys in like seven days. Okay, bye.